Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the latest version of Adobe Photoshop, that is CC Creative Cloud, to create the Star Wars lightsaber effect. So that's taking a photo and turning it from this into something like this. From this into this. I am your father. Um, I know, I've seen the movie like a million times. Now let's first have a look at the source material to see what we're dealing with here. This is the, this is what we want to emulate. In the original trilogy, the lightsaber blades uh, were generally a bit thinner. Um, they kind of tapered off at the ends. They were a little bit sharp too, and a pretty big glow around them. In the newer prequel tri trilogy, um, the core of the blade, that white part, was a little bit more well defined, a little that little bit thicker, uh, and they had you know good glow around them as well. But they generally weren't kind of as big and wide as as they were in in the original trilogy. I'm pointing out the difference here because you should know that there are there are differences that the variations in how you can create this lightsaber glow. It's up to you which one you you want to imitate. I personally am more of a fan of um, the prequel trilogy, but hey, whatever. Okay, so it's all about creating um, a white solid um, over the two blades. In fact, if you were taking a picture of someone just pretending to hold, you know, anything like a toilet paper roll, you can actually create this blade on, on top of nothing. Um, so that blade doesn't even need to be there. It's all about creating a white um, solid in a new layer and adding a glow to it. It's as simple as that. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, we want to create a new layer. I'm going to call this Vader Blade if I can spell and I'm gonna create a new solid click um, and hold onto that button there and I want to go to the rounded rectangle tool and I'm gonna to change this to pixels and draw that shape just roughly over where um, Vader's blade should be now I can't rotate all to that just yet when I'm creating the shape but I will in just a second let's zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna rotate this I'm gonna transform this that's the function I'm looking for so that it will fit on top of the blade. So um, free transform or control T. I'm not sure what the um, what it would be if you're using a Mac, but it's control in a, um, on a PC. You should have thought about that before you bought a Mac personally. And just rotate this over so and move it so it fits on top of the blade. The cool thing I like about free transform is that if I hold onto control, I can then move um, the corners around like that so I can really get this fitting right over the blade. Okay, that's looking good. Enter, and that's done. All right, now you'll notice that um, the core um, in the lightsaber blade is slightly fuzzy. Um, it's, it's a little bit too kind of clean at the edges here. So what we want to do is blur it a tiny bit. So Gaussian blur, maybe like four pixels, something like that. So it's a little bit blurred now. Um, and then we're just going to add a glow. So double click on the layer to open the layer styles and outer glow. Let's change the color to red or slightly, slightly pink. If you have a look at um, um, the Sith blades, uh, lightsaber blades, they were actually a tiny bit pink um, some, some of the time. Um, I'm going to change the opacity 100% so it's a nice solid color. And then increase the size. There we go. That's looking pretty good. You can play with the spread a little bit too, but I normally don't kind of muck around with that too much. Okay, and voila. It is done. Darth Vader's blade. As easy as that. Do the same thing to Luke's blade and you are done. That is basically just it. Now this tutorial technically ends here, uh, but there is actually a second way of creating um, that glow effect, um, and it comes from Ryan Weaver. So he was the guy who years ago kind of uh, was one of the first to publish his how-to guide on, on creating these. Um, I think he made that in like Photoshop version four or something like that. Um, and his version involves actually creating multiple layers um, to create something that looks like this. So this is the final effect if you use um, his version. The glow is a lot more gentle, uh, but larger. And, you know, that could be the, the, the look that you're going for. So this is what he actually did. So um, it started off by doing the same thing as what we did. So he would um, create um, that new layer, um, put a white solid, except instead of just using one white solid, he actually create mul created multiple versions of it. So um, he would duplicate this layer, which I can do by just clicking and dragging it down there. Um, and then he actually did this multiple times. I'm just going to do it once. And then he would actually um, blur the second layer more, quite a bit more than he did the first. So we only did like, you know, four pixels, a Gaussian blur for the first. And, you know, he would go all the way up to like maybe, let's go like 50 or something like that. 
and then we merge these two layers together, which you can do by um, selecting both of them, sorry, right clicking and then um, selecting merge layers, or you can just select on this top layer, hit Control E, and that just merges with the layer beneath it, and then doing the same thing as what we did before, so creating that glow this way. And the effect was something like this. Um, now this does look quite different from our previous one. Our previous one, let's just bring that up, looked like um, this. And this version now looks like this. So it's a little bit more gentle, but the glow, that glow is a little bit bigger. And you might want to do this maybe if the lightsaber was really close to the screen. Like if this was a, you know, if the blade was really, really big. If you, or if you needed the blade to be really big and, and close to the screen and you needed a very large glow, then you might want to blur that quite a bit more. But yeah, personally, with the new version of, um, of Adobe Photoshop CC, um, I think that um, this works just fine. So there you have it. A quick and easy way of creating the lightsaber glow in Photoshop. Use it responsibly and may the force be with you.